Winchester News Online. I'm Danielle Condell. Today's headlines. Don't hate, donate. That's the message from volunteers who have been filling lorries with donations for Syria. It is success. It really is success um, that we can just transcend all the different barriers and walls that might be erected. After the flood, Winchester's mill is open for visitors but faces an uncertain future. Um, dating back to Roman times and the mill um, is at least Saxon times. Ahead for heights, the Mayor of Winchester faces up to a vertical challenge. Refugees in Syria are being sent donations after a Portsmouth charity spent weeks collecting aid. The Don't Hate Donate campaign was filled to the rafters with donations from the local community. Emily Mee reports. This is very heavy. Tons of aid is now on its way to Syria, enough to fill a 40-foot container. Portsmouth-based charity Don't Hate Donate has been overrun with donations for refugees. Volunteers gathered at the George Pub in Alton to help send the aid on its way. At Don't Hate Donate we are all about uniting communities for a better world. You're nipping hatred and ignorance in the bud by actually bringing together communities in order to do a good thing. I think Syria is uh, uppermost in our minds. The, the images that we receive are pretty graphic and we get them on a daily or on a regular basis. So if I can help the refugees then, and this is the way I can do it, then so be it. So I think it's, it's not just important in the fact that we're saving lives, but it's important that these people can see that we're giving them a, a helping hand. The George pub has become a collection point after the Portsmouth hub reached capacity. Here the volunteers have been meeting weekly to sort and pack several tons of donations. Uh, people have been so, so generous with this appeal. Uh, people have actually gone out and bought bags of shopping and dropped them off. Um, and we've had little communities collecting and dropping off here as well, which has been great. The overwhelming amount of donations has meant that another container can soon be sent out. The whole ethos of Don't Hate, Donate is actually to connect communities through charity. The thing is to come together purely on that premise to help. And I think for, for myself, it is, it is success. It really is success um, that we can just transcend all the different barriers and walls that might be erected and actually come together to help your fellow human beings. I think it's, it's, it's humanity at its best. It's been an absolutely freezing night here in Alton. They've just sent off two 40-foot containers which will be going off to Syria tonight. The lorries have just left, but there's still plenty left here, as you can see. There's more in the pub. The community has absolutely rallied around to get all the, these donations together. This is Emily Mee, Winchester News Online. One of Winchester's oldest buildings is fighting to keep its doors open. Connor Brooks has more. Over the last couple of years, Winchester City Mill have had really bad problems with flooding. So we've came here today to find out what their fundraising campaign's about and how they're going to save this historic building. At the end of May, we've got a duck race registration. So it's all things duck. Mm -hmm. We've got a pond in the back garden. You can hook a duck, choose your number, and um, that's from five pounds mm -hmm. upwards. So you sponsor a racing duck. Then we've also got a millathon, um, the weekend of Father's Day. So the millers are milling for 30 hours non-stop. Never been yeah. done before. A record that we've never thought about before. So um, yeah, lots of flowers to be made. We're free, so people can come and visit all day and through the night as well. The mill has existed on this site since the Saxons times and has historic connections ranging from King Alfred the Great to Queen Mary Tudor. We've been through lots of trauma um, from the Black, Pay, uh, the Black Plague to Henry VIII and the dissolution of the monasteries um, to poor harvest and having to shut, turn into a laundry during World War I. We finally resumed milling in 2005 and we don't want that to stop. So there you have it. Come down to Winchester City Mill and support their fundraising campaign. I've been Connor Brooks, Winchester News Online. Winchester Environmental Group expresses its strong concerns over the city's pollution levels. Sam Waddington reports. Air pollution in Winchester is causing a number of people to die prematurely. That's the message from Phil Gagg of Winchester Action on Climate Change, also known as WINAC. The City Council has already said they are putting together an air quality action plan to tackle the issue. 
On the situation, Councillor Jan Warwick said last month that despite there being other challenges to tackle across Winchester, reducing air pollution still remains a target for the city. I think there's too much traffic and because there's too much traffic there's too much pollution and too much pollution is causing a number of people to die prematurely. I don't think we'll be able to get low levels of air pollution in central Winchester unless we reduce the amount of traffic considerably. I think the easiest thing to do to do that is to close all the car parks within the old city walls. Campaign groups like Winnack still feel more needs to be done. Sam Waddington, Winchester News Online. Cash on buses will soon be a thing of the past, as passengers will now be able to use their cards to pay for their tickets. By this summer, contactless payments will be available on all buses in Hampshire. The council has spent £1.6 million on the new system in the hope the changes will make journeys easier and quicker for passengers. Cyclists in Winchester will be pleased to know that work will soon begin on the city's first ever cycling cafe. The Handlebar Cafe is a project by local charity Spud Youth and will be converted from a section of Hockley Viaduct near St Catherine's Hill. The group is currently trying to raise £350,000 by the end of March in order to begin construction. A spectacular light display has been unveiled in Southampton to celebrate the opening of a new £85 million extension of the West Quay Shopping Centre. The event, called the Festival of Light, is open to the public at the Esplanade beside the old city wall. The new developments include a state-of-the-art 10-screen cinema, a brand new bowling alley and 20 new restaurants featuring food from all around the world. The festival runs until Sunday so there's still plenty of time to head down and enjoy the show. The perfect way to end your retail experience in Bournemouth has arrived. Our reporter Amber Lovell went to see what all the fluff was about. This is a cat. One of the many cats you'd see at Paul's Cat Cafe in Bournemouth who opened their paws for a sneak preview before their grand opening this Friday. Owner Jada Costa explains what inspired her to set up the cafe. So I saw the cat in the window and I thought, wow, what's this? Looked up, saw it was a cat cafe. It's called the Crazy Cat Cafe in Milan. And I went back in the next day and I had the most incredible experience. Um, it made me really happy. And I thought, I've just got to share this with other people. And in just under 20 years, the craze for a cat cafe has moved more than 6,000 miles from Taiwan all the way to Bournemouth, showing that East does meet West. Amber Lovell, Winchester News Online, Bournemouth. The cat cafe will officially open this Friday and you can come back next week to see how that went. But finally, for most of us, the thought of it abseiling down the Spinnaker Tower in Portsmouth makes us shiver. But that's what our mayor here in Winchester is planning to do. In order to prepare, she got help from the fire station in Winchester. Julie Lee reports. <laughs> Laughter. But is this the sound of fear or joy? For the first time, Mayor Jane Rutter is preparing for abseiling down the training tower at Winchester Fire Station. It's a big drop. And this is just to get ready for something even more scary. In a couple of months, she is planning to upsail down the Spinnaker Tower in Portsmouth. And that's going to be a massive challenge because it's five times the height of this training tower. And that's why the mayor is here, to get some good advice and training from the local fire search and rescue team. And now I've had wonderful support from the fire brigade here in Winchester. They've been fantastic helping me, giving me confidence about my abseil. I just think, you know, go for it when you're mayor. You know, you're only mayor once, it's only one year. Um, make the most of it, that's what I think. And um, so, and they're great charities, so anything I can do to support them and raise extra funds for them, I'm, I'm game for it, really. When the main event takes place at the end of April, Mayor Jane Rutter won't be alone. She will be up sailing down the Spinnaker Tower 
with five other mayors from a Hampshire. Together they will be testing their new skills to raise money for local and national charities. Julie Lee, community reporter, Winchester News Online. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.